After decimating parts of southwest Florida, Hurricane Ian eyeing a fourth landfall, this time staring down South Carolina's coast, already kicking up rough surf on Tybee Island, Georgia. While the southeast feels the wrath of this storm, Ian's devastation in parts of Florida becoming painfully clear. We started to see the water coming through the windows. I would say it'd take a few days to get everything clean. Across the state, hundreds of water rescues. 25 helicopters, 25 boats, and over 1,200 of what we call high water vehicles that can really get into those remote areas through water to help rescue people. And watch as crews pulled this man from piles of rubble and debris in Fort Myers. His wife still missing. In Naples, the power of water on full display. Further inland, a flooding catastrophe. Water swallowing homes and businesses in Orlando's Orange County. I just want the people of Florida to know we see what you're going through and we're with you. We're going to do everything we can for you. As Florida races to recover, 1,000 FEMA personnel deployed, supplying millions of liters of water, meals, and hundreds of generators. There's a lot of people that are going to need a lot of help. FEMA has individual assistance for this uh, community, which is important, but they're only allowed to do certain things, so we really want to enlist the help of the private sector to be able to help us and help people get back on their feet. Venice, Florida hit incredibly hard. A transformer blew here at this mobile home community, bursting into flames. These homes right behind me burning to the ground. Still 2 million people across the state of Florida without power. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Venice, Florida.